If you got a new Mac and you need external storage that's just as fast as your internal one, then this is the video for you. I'm gonna show you three options to extend your storage just as fast, very easy and budget friendly. Welcome to Review Chains, let's get into it. So the first expansion option is gonna be the Samsung T7, but before I do the test, I wanna tell you that the Mac Mini in this case, the Mac Mini M4, the base model, supports up to two gigabytes a second for writing and two to three gigabytes a second for reading. Yeah, and now we're gonna compare the three different options and to see which speeds we can get if we test a five gigabyte file, okay? now. For the Samsung, we just need to plug in the USB-C into the drive and we're gonna plug it into the back of the Mac Mini. There we have the Thunderbolt 4 ports so we can have the maximum speed possible. As what we see right now, it's only around 750 megabytes a second for writing and around 7 megabytes per 700 megabytes per second for reading. That means that it's okay to store, to store footage on it it's okay uh, to use it just as storage, but I wouldn't recommend uh, editing 4K videos or raw footages from this drive. But otherwise, it's okay. You can edit uh, normal videos, like for videos you took with your phone, or you can edit uh, pictures directly from your external hard drive, the Samsung T7, without any problems. Know that there's also the Samsung T9 on the market, which is faster, but also more expensive, around 200 bucks. This one is around 100 bucks for a terabyte of storage. So, our second expansion option is the Orico external docking station, and it has an NVMe support. It's a very nice one because with this one, you can have different ports that you can use with your Mac Mini, like USB-A, USB-C, HDMI, LAN, and also uh, SD and micro SD card slot. But to top it off, if you remove the top, you can install an NVMe drive and use it as an external drive at the same time. But note, this is a 10 gigabit a second. So because the speed is 10 gigabit a second, it's not Thunderbolt, it is a little bit slower and it needs some external electricity. So we're gonna plug in the electricity first and then we're gonna plug it with the cable that we got in the box to the Mac Mini. Now let's do the speed test and see how fast this one goes. As you can see, the writing speed goes up to 1.2 gigabyte per second and the reading speed will be around 1 gigabyte a second to 0.8 to 1 gigabyte a second. That's actually very nice, it means you can edit off of it not the most uh, difficult edits, but basic edits or editing pictures will go just fine. And for $55, you have an uh, external uh, docking station with the NVMe SSD drive integrated in it. So our third and fastest option is the Orico Thunderbolt 4 external NVMe drive. You can put the NVMe card in it, uh, SSD, and connect it to your Thunderbolt connection and you should get speeds similar to your internal speeds that you have in your Mac Mini M4 at the moment. So let's take the cable that we got in the box and test it out with our Mac Mini and see how fast it goes. As you can see, it immediately flies up to two gigabytes a second for reading and it goes up to two gigabytes a second for writing. So. In this case, this is a wonderful external drive. It means that for 50 euro we can, or 50 dollars, we can buy this external drive. For around 100 euro or dollars, we can have a two terabyte NVMe, put it inside, you get the same speeds, but you save a lot of money upgrading it. And if something might happen to your Mac, you still have your drive with all your files on it. Three options to upgrade our Mac Mini. The Samsung T7 one costs you around 100 dollars for one terabyte of storage. If you buy the T9, it's more expensive, but you can go up to two gigabytes a second. Then we have the Orico external storage. Here you need to plug an ex extra electricity in it so you can have the full speed and you have external storage and external ports for your Mac Mini. And the fastest way is the Orico Thunderbolt 4 NVMe drive. You can put any NVMe in it. You get very fast speeds, saves you a lot of money and you can edit out of it. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope this was helping. If you have any questions concerning what gigabytes and gigabits are, since there's a difference, you can write it down in the comments and I'll make a video about it. Thank you for watching. This was Review Chains.